Today I will be showing you how to um, wrap gyozas. So what you'll need to wrap gyozas is your meat mixture. Um, I'm gonna post a link to um, I'm gonna post my recipe in the info box. But the main ingredients is just uh, ground pork, onions, cabbage, um, uh, garlic, and then seasoning. So I'll post that. You're gonna need some water to seal. Sorry, I already opened my packaging. You're gonna need gyoza wrappers and just a teaspoon or a tablespoon. I brought both because I'm not sure. All right, I'm sure. gonna show you guys how to properly fold gyozas. You wanna put some water on the edge. You're gonna take your meat mixture. You're gonna put it in the middle and you're gonna fold in half and align it. Make sure to seal. Okay, first end, you're gonna bend it, just to, like that. Put your thumb, left thumb, take your right thumb, stretch the dough a bit, fold it over. Take this thumb, take it out, push it down. Take this, move over a bit, fold over. Take your thumb out, push down, or pinch. You just go like that. See? After a while, it gets really easy. my gyozas, tons of them. Just gonna put them here on the side. What you're gonna need to cook this is water, oil, and a lid. I am gonna put, depending how you're gonna make, I'm gonna make five, maybe like seven of them. So I'm only putting a quarter cup of water in here. And you'll see it'll start uh, boiling. So you wanna put in, no, maybe 10. Put them in here like so. The cool thing about this is you can freeze them and then just take them out whenever you want to cook them. Okay, so how many is that? Eight? Ten. We'll put ten in here. There you go. And I'm going to cover them. You want to cover them. Okay, and you're going to cook them until all the water's gone. Okay, I'm gonna put it up a bit because I can tell that they're like it's really fast to cook so I'm, I just put it up to medium high and I'm gonna just get the water dried up I'm just gonna heat it up because the searing part's really quick so you just want to put it up medium high move them around make sure they're not stuck I can tell that they're cooked. You can tell when they're cooked, but the water's almost gone. And then once the water's gone, you're going to put about a teaspoon of oil. Move the gyozas around just so it gets coated on the bottom. And then that's it. Cook it for another two minutes or so. Just take a look at the bottoms and then you'll see that they're they're good to go. Water's pretty much gone. Get that oil. About a teaspoon. And you're just going to slide them around. Oops, my bad, sorry. They're going to slide off. You shake them. They're going to slide off. There you go. I mean... Don't mind me. 
I'm gonna fix them for you so they're pretty on the plate. There you have it, your yummy gyozas with your dipping sauce. Mmm!